going on everybody? My name is Elbit Realist with Surrealistic Studios, Surreal News, where the real is surreal. So for this segment, I wanted to discuss a video that was done by Mike Figueredo of The Humanist Report a few days ago. Um, he actually had Ro Khanna on the phone. He did a phone interview with Ro Khanna um, and he asked him to explain his vote on HR Res.246. Uh, that's the same resolution that we all know our favorite uh, progressive Tulsi Gabbard also voted for, which is the um, opposing efforts to delegitimize the state of Israel and the BDS movement. Well, his answer as to why he voted the way he voted, which was uh, a yes or, or a, a yay, um, it, it, it didn't leave me satisfied at all. And I know it probably didn't leave a lot of other people satisfied as well. Now, we all know Ro Khanna kind of has a uh, mixed up record as as far as his voting as far as his support I mean as far as who he is as a progressive some of you may like him some of you may not but um he's a mixed bag for me and this this right here really it really helped put the nail in the coffin in, in regards to my uh, my views on Ro Khanna um, I don't think he's horrible I just think that in, at the end of the day He's an Elizabeth Warren type character will, where he's, uh, he's, he's going to be all too willing to compromise, all too willing to bow down to Israel, bow down to, you know, basically the, the, the sheep mentality, herd thought, the whole thought process. You know, Israel has been committing um, human rights violations and atrocities for years now. They've been... Uh, illegally taking people's lands, demolishing people's homes, shooting protesters, shooting medical personnel, shooting children, shooting the elderly, shooting handicapped. Really, they have no boundaries. They know no ends. So something has to be done. And one of those things that we have is the boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement, which basically um, focuses all our efforts on 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 crippling their their uh, economy or the economy of their war practices or of their human rights violations that's what we're talking about here now there are separate BDS movements from what I understand there's the boycott divestment and sanctions movement um, that's targeting the Israeli occupa illegal occupations you know and there's you know other ones that are boycotting all of Israel but when we talk about BDS we're talking about the boycotting of the the illegal settlements that's what we're boycotting we're not trying to harm the Israeli people and that's one of the things that Ro Khanna tried to um, use as an excuse he, he said that well why would we um, use sanctions against the whole country when it's not, you know, the people's fault that's doing this. And we all understand that it's not the people's fault. Um, it's not their fault. It's not everyone's fault in Israel that this is happening. But it's happening under, in their name. It's happening, you know, in their government. It's happening there in that country. So something has to be done. And no one is offering a viable solution. Um, his only viable solution was get people to the table and negotiate peace and yada yada this that and the other what do you think has been what do you think has been going on like it, you make it sound so simple it's not a valid solution to this issue you know he um what else did he say um <clears throat> he, he this is what i find suspicious of Rokana. first of all he's all too willing to sign on a dotted line and to prove to everyone apac included that he stands against BDS and the BDS movement. But when Mike Figueredo pressed him on the question of, well, it, if you are voting to condemn BDS, why are you ignoring or why do you, uh, why, why do you not support Ilan Omar's legislation to affirm our right to protest, to, our, to affirm our constitutional protected rights? You know, and he made some lame excuse as, well, I don't see why it's necessary to have to affirm that because it's in our constitution already and this, that, and the other. It's a very lame excuse if you, if you ask me. Um, 
it, he said that he even had a conversation with Elon about it, and he told her the same thing that he, that he sees no need to affirm that. Um, even though we have all of this legislation on the books already, laws and states which prohibit certain members, um, cer certain citizens of the United States from from participating in the BDS movement, otherwise they lose their job or they, they'll lose their funding. We actually have states, uh, I'm sorry, laws on our books about this. But doesn't that go against our constitutional protected right? Constitutionally protected that, I mean, it, so it make no sense for him to um, to say that he would not support Ilan um, Omar's legislation, but he supports HR Res.246 to, uh, to affirm that and to put his name on the dotted line in support of APAC, in support of uh, Israel, to say that he doesn't support BDS and the BDS movement. So... I just find it strange. It's a, it's another check mark on the negative side of Rokana that I do not like. I do not appreciate. It makes absolutely no sense, and it makes me feel like he's all too willing to bow down to these foreign powers, like a lot of our representatives do. You know, and it, it really hurt me and hurt a lot of other people that Tulsi Gabbard voted the way she voted on this issue as well. Um. And of course, her her answer was 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 not too great either. You know, saying that well, she supports our constitutionally protected rights to boycott. She just doesn't think that it's working. And that was all, another uh, point that Ro Khanna made is that he doesn't think that the BDS movement is working. Figure right, uh, Mike Figueredo argued back. Well, if it's not working, then why do we have such an uproar about it in our legislation? Why do we have so many politicians? going to war with BDS if BDS isn't in fact having some kind of effect on the situation so there that's that's a very conflicting report you know um, and that there have been other reports that stated that BDS is in fact working that it is pressuring companies from doing business with Israel it's raising awareness globally around this issue so you know like I said this is just another negative check mark for Rokana in my book um, let me know what you guys have have to say about this in the comment section below like this video give me a thumbs up so we can get the rankings up you know YouTube is demonetizing videos Tim Black's videos just got demonetized about the DNC uh, the the third debate um, you know they're really cracking down it's, it's getting real milly out here <laughs> but um, you know do what you do you know subscribe to this channel if you haven't before Love, peace, and chicken grease. I'll see you guys on the next one. Remember to spread that love. All right? I'm out.